Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and a very good morning to all of you. Hope you're doing fine. Teacher Fayyazuddin Ahmed. Today we are going to do some exercises in workbook from the lesson chapter 8, chapter 8, lesson number 1, Earth and Sun. And can you please open your science reading and writing workbook, page number 163. Page number 163. Earth and Sun, what causes day and night? Number one, Earth completes one rotation on its axis every 24 hours. Earth completes one rotation on its axis every 24 hours. There are two blanks. The first one is axis. The second one is 24. Number next, as Earth rotates, the Sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. As Earth rotates, the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. These are the three blanks, rotates, east and west. Number next, the stars, moon and planets appear to move across the sky each night because of Earth's rotation. Because of the Earth's rotation. The blank is rotation. Number next, at dawn and dusk, Shadows are long and at midday they are short. This we discussed in our uh, lesson in the last session. In the morning, early morning and in the late in the evenings. So we saw the long shadows and in the midday the shadows are short. At dawn and dusk the shadows are long and at midday they are short. So two blanks the, in the first blank. Can write long and in second blank you can write short what causes seasons what causes seasons each year earth completes one revolution around the sun each year earth completes one revolution around the sun so this is the answer revolution is the answer number next in june the north pole is tilted towards the sun so sunlight hits the northern hemisphere at a steeper angle in June, the North Pole is tilted toward the Sun, so sunlight hits the Northern Hemisphere at a steeper angle. The answer is steeper. In summer, light is more intense than it is in winter. The answer is intense. In summer, light is more intense than it is in winter. Number next, in December, the North Pole is tilted away from the Sun. So, sunlight hits the northern hemisphere at a low angle. In, De in December, the north pole is tilted away from the sun. So, sunlight hits the northern hemisphere at a low angle. So, answers for these two blanks. The first one is away from and the second one is low. These are the answers. Number next, when it is winter in the northern hemisphere, it is summer in the southern hemisphere. The answer is summer. When it is winter in the northern hemisphere, it is summer in the southern hemisphere. How does the sun's apparent path change over the seasons? Number 10. In northern Alaska, summer nights are short, but during winter the sun hardly appears. In northern Alaska, summer nights are short, but during winter the sun hardly appears. So these two blanks are, the first one is short, the Next one is appears. These are the two answers. Number next, the sun rises higher in the sky in summer than it does in winter. The sun rises higher in the sky in summer than it does in winter. The answer is higher. Number 12, near the equator, the sun's apparent path changes less during the year than at higher latitudes. Near the equator, the sun's apparent path changes less during the year than at higher latitudes. The answer is less. The sun's path repeats itself every year, so it is possible to predict the time the sun will rise and set. The sun's path repeats itself every year, so it is possible to predict the time the sun will rise and set. These are the two answers. The first blank is rise, the second one is set. 
So we saw the differences in the sun's apparent path during different seasons. It rises highest in summer and lowest in winter. So, so this is the end of page number 164. There is a homework for you. Complete the workbook pages 163 and 164. Hope you understood this uh, topic today. Thank you. Have a nice day.